Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. This is Blackheart Sign and Black and again asking you to hit that share button first because that's uh, where we all benefit and the message is more important than the messenger. Um, asking, well, I'd like to thank any of you who have hit the share or the like or the subscribe buttons, but I would only ask that you hit the share button. Let me go ahead and get straight to this message. Carol Sanchez, y'all know the story. It's old news by now. I mean, it's today's news, but every, it's spread around everybody. Look, I first heard it yesterday morning, my time, which would have been about Monday, late Monday evening for most of you. Uh, yeah, that's when I, by the time it would have been. My first thought was these traffickers are getting aggressive. My second thought was this sounds like... Um, I mean, I don't think it's fake, but I think this sounds like something that some other men would call fake. And I'm afraid that this is going to make the manners feel look really bad and insensitive. To the credit of men, no one got out and jumped. No one jumped out and called this thing fake in any large numbers. I didn't see any videos or comments calling her kidnapping a fake. She came back the next day, 2.30, her own time, and turned herself in and said that it had been staged. She was trying to run away from the family. So I'm going to give all due fairness and credit as much as I possibly can. Carol Sanchez was not trying to join a social club of victims. She was not trying to get attention. She was just trying to run away from the family. I don't know why. Um, and she did not falsely accuse some innocent guy of... Uh, you know, kidnapping her and holding her uh, in his basement because he just, you know, he can't get none and he became obsessed with her. Nothing like that. But what I want you to understand is that to make false accusations like this um, is incentivized socially. And granted, I understand it. You see, real victims of real crimes that really happen um, should report them. And they should be treated for it. And they should be defended. They should also be vindicated if the perpetrators can be caught. That makes perfect sense. We don't take issue with that. We don't have a problem with that. The issue is that this social attention becomes an attractant for women that are not victims of crimes. And so they're incentivized somehow, teenagers and adults alike, to falsely report stuff. When they're incentivized to do it, you have to stop and ask yourself who is going to be the victim of the false accusation. It's important to know that there must be in many cases. The easiest one to blame, the easiest one of which to convince others that he's guilty, that he would do something like this, that he's twisted, that he's desperate, can't get none from nowhere, no normal, through normal channels, would do this, is the one that's going to be blamed. It's going to, you have to understand this. See, in the eyes of the Western women, black or white, although probably more so in black America does this dichotomy exist, in the eyes of the Western women, you are either the Fresh Prince or you're Carlton Banks. You're either Darius, I'm sorry, not, uh, that's the actor's name, Carl Jr., you either Carl Jr. or you're Steve Urkel. There ain't no in-betweens. That's as far as Sapphire is concerned. That's who you are. Now, if you're dealing with Amber and Becky, then you don't necessarily have to be Carl Jr. on the football team. You don't have to be the Fresh Prince who's out of some rough area, West Philly. Um, you ain't got to be O-Dog, per se. You... You could be more like the Fresh Prince and, and to her you just as bad as old dog out of menace to society. That's fine. But with the sister, with Sapphire, it's, it's one or the other. I mean, you can't, you really can't even be Kane. You gotta be old dog. That's it. Lauren London will tell you that. Oh, my bad. She already told us that. So... You got to understand that if you were not one of them, then you are Carlton Banks or you were Urkel or you're the brother that can blend into the background and not really get much uh, and, and escape classification because you escape attention, negative or positive. 
A few brothers can do that. When I was growing up, we men would look, uh, I mean, old, they were older than me at that point, of course. I was not grown, at the, I was still growing, but brothers would sometimes look at someone and say, well, we need to get him on these hoes if he didn't look like he was chasing women or if he didn't look like he was catching women. Now, if he wasn't catching them, nobody would really help out. But if he wasn't chasing them, they would say, oh, we need to get him on these hoes. This is a mistake nowadays. If you got that innocent looking, non-tail chasing younger male relative, now you got to worry about something different. You not only have to worry about maybe some dudes that are into this kind of thing trying to go and, you know, catch him and turn him out because uh, maybe they can sway him before he tastes a woman. I don't know what their mindset is, but it, they do get approached by dudes at times. I know that happens. But now you got to go and tell them not only do you have to worry about that, but they got to worry about false accusations from women because of how they look. Well, you know, you look to the women like don't know other women want you. So you got to understand that some of them have an incentive to make false accusations and they're going to make false accusations wherever they can be the most easily believed. If you look the part, they will do it. So you may have to chip in and, you know, you got that. I mean, you take you a young black male and you wear glasses. You may just have to go ahead and chip in and get your nephew some specs, make them look stylish. Because really, man, just, you know, glasses, just regular vision protecting, uh, vision correcting glasses, that could cause him a whole lot of trouble. Nowadays, Star Wars, Star Wars and Star Trek comics and movies, hey, you know, they can watch them, but you may have to tell them, look, you, you better hide this from other people. Not not even because they're bad, but because they can just get you a bad result because you, you got to tell them it's not even because all or even half of the teenage girls and adult women are this doggone crazy. It's not even half of them. They're not the majority. It's simply because the ones of them that are out there. Well, everybody's. They can go around and have a, uh, an effect on many more than a positive woman or a positive man because positive women and positive men are committed. They're not going around here jumping from one to the next. So everybody's not having an experience with them. But the bad ones, well, they go from one to the next. So everybody gets an experience with them. And you got to let them know now you got these crazy broads out here that will make false accusations. And because you look the part or you stereotypically in their minds look like uh, the one that uh, they stereotype as the creep who's desperate and will do sick and twisted things to get a fix, they'll put it at your feet. Don't even say we know we got to get these dudes on these hoes. Don't we got to get rid of that mindset? Because if if they just don't already know what women want and they make the effort, all they're going to do is get labeled a creep. And that's really setting them up for a false accusation later. It really is. Well, you know, you, you got to try. You got to try because they ain't going to come to you. No. Tell them to get that money and put some time in the gym. They'll come to them. Muscles and money. Yeah, somebody come to them. That's what we got to tell them now. Yeah, somebody's going to come seek you out. <laughs> Here's what you do, man. You find a, a skill that you like, use that to make some money and build a gym at home or get a gym membership or something. If, if it's that important, then you got to make them come to you because they're not in trouble for coming to you. They're socially in trouble with other women, but they're not in trouble with the law because they came to you. Nothing like that's going to happen. No, and they're not. Even if she raped you, she's not going to face anything. You will. If she rapes you and says you raped her, you're going to face something. We got to tell these dudes, man, it's, it's uh, these young bloods. We got to tell them young cats in the family, our sons. Now, my channel and my video ain't for kids. This is a conversation we got to have with them in person. We got to tell our, our sons, our nephews, our younger brothers, our little cousins, the same way that we teach our uh, 
our female cousins and our nieces and our daughters and our sisters how to be safe even though most men ain't dangerous but dangerous men will affect m multiple women we got to nowadays we got to really change what we're telling these these dudes we got to start telling them look man most women ain't dangerous at least not that dangerous but the ones that are well you know they they'll do it to one dude one day and do it to you the next and nobody may ever catch them in these false accusations because you see if you're accused of something once and you get convicted if you're accused and acquitted and then you get accused a second time they're going to find that now whether the judge accepts it is a different story but they but the first accusation will be found automatically because you were the accused but if you uh if you were falsely accused today and Junebug is falsely accused tomorrow or the reverse order, it's not an automatic search that's going to come up that she was, uh, you know, that she reported. It's not like uh, the case goes to court and automatically someone finds this out. No, that's not an automatic step. Someone has to go and do the research to find out, oh, she falsely accused somebody before and then recanted and admitted that she made the story and fabricated it. You understand? We got to tell these brothers this. Because, you know, there's, there, there's an incentive now to make a false report. You join a social club, you get special attention if you can falsely report some violation by a man against you. It undermines the real women that were really victims of real crimes that really happened. It undermines them, but the false ones, the ones that are going to lie about it, don't give a rat's behind about that. They're going to say it anyway. So we got to tell these young brothers, you got to tell these young brothers what's really happening. We got to stop um, telling them what the old heads told us when we were coming up. Because, you know, now these false accusations, maybe they've been going on forever. I don't know what the statistics are. Some detectives say 67 percent of rape accusations are false. Other detectives say, no, it's not that many. You know what? We could argue about that all day. The point is that the crazy woman that's going to make these she's going to have multiple victims but the positive woman that is in addition to a man's life is only going to positively affect the men to whom she's related and the one or two men that she spends her life with that's really going to be it everybody ain't going to find these positive women just like you know every woman ain't going to find these these great men out there because those great men ain't jumping from woman to woman. Well, same thing here. We got to let them know. Yeah, every woman ain't crazy. It's just that the few that are, well, they're enough to go around and have an effect on a lot of dudes. And if you look the part, she's already thinking about what she can say you did to give herself a holiday. That's already happening. <laughs> Hell, I'm going to tell you all uh, about a game. Now. I'm not going to try to sit up and say this happened in this year and that sort of, but I'm going to tell you about a game that some of them can play. High school seniors got their finals. The, the last finals they're going to take before going to college or at least before graduating high school and getting that diploma at the very least. You take a, a woman, you take a teenage girl that's attractive but hates to study. Well, hey, look, you know, that's not hard to find. She gets sick and tired of studying for the last of the finals before high school. It behooves her to take a male classmate and say, he did this, that, and the other. Now, why is that? Because in the last few months of high school, she becomes a type of, she becomes a victim, a celebrity, people treat her with kid gloves, and she's not scrutinized as harshly on the exams. I can't concentrate after what happened. Okay, okay, just do your best. She gets the diploma. She may not, and if she was going to go to a nice college afterwards, she gets to keep on going. Is she falsely accused the dude because she does not feel like studying? Even though most girls would never do something like that. She decides to do it, it'll be years if they ever find out that he didn't do it. He gets a, a rape conviction, more than likely. At least the charges, but, you know, a rape conviction. And if so, he has to register as a sex offender if he gets out. If he survives his time on the inside with that kind of charge and that kind of conviction, that's what happens. That's it. We got to let these, these, these young brothers know that, man, look, they're not the ones that are always the threat. They can just as easily be under threat. All she got to do is be 
dangerous and conniving enough. It's time we start telling these young brothers and quit telling them, yeah, man, you need to go out there and get on these hoes, man. Put them books down, <laughs> take them glasses off and get out there and rap some of these bitches. Don't come back till you get a phone number. We need to stop with that mess. Because all we're doing is setting them up. Really, that's it. Because who do you think a woman's going to falsely accuse if she's the type to do that? It's easy. She's going to falsely accuse the kid, the guy that seems to be the most uh, willing to try, but the most likely to fail. Because she can peg him as desperate. And when, if he looks desperate enough, mm, easy accusation. Easy accusation. And if you're that type of uncle, or older brother, or dad that'll tell the young blood in your family that same thing, don't come back till you get a phone number. And then he fails and fails and fails and then gets this kind of accusation. You might, because of the stereotypical way that people think, you might believe the accusations yourself and not support him when he needs it because you won't know he's innocent. We got to be careful about that. I think I've said enough and explained it enough. Thanks for being patient, listening. I hope that one day what I've said is not true. Till then, I hope it's a benefit. Blackheart, sign a blackout. Assalamu alaikum.